Hi everyone, Martin Bamford here. What has the pandemic meant for your retirement plans? Well, according to new research, more than half of UK adults say that COVID-19 has affected their plans for retirement. That could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. In this video, what the pandemic has meant for our future. The research from Aviva found that 54% of respondents said the pandemic had altered their plans for later life. That doesn't necessarily mean in a bad way, as I'll come on to explain. We know that the pandemic experience was varied. It was varied in financial terms for different people. Some benefited from an enforced reduction in their spending while maintaining their income and getting to work from home. Others saw their income and their pension contributions cuts or stopped altogether. The research from Aviva found that some people are thinking about retiring earlier than they were before after gaining confidence in their planned retirement lifestyle. In a way, lockdowns were like a bit of a mini retirement. We got to taste what retirement might feel like. However, 18% feel less confident about their financial future, with those aged 35 to 44 the least likely to feel financially secure. This younger age group was most likely to have felt some impact on their retirement plans from the pandemic, with 68% reporting this to researchers. This impact was positive for some, including 1 in 10 who used the savings they experienced during lockdowns to boost their retirement pots. 14% of 35 to 44 year olds anticipate a later than initially planned retirement date and 16% have lost confidence in their ability to secure a financially comfortable retirement. The research also found that 59% of people felt the pandemic had prompted them to question what's really important in life and half said it had changed their priorities. There was a polarised finding in terms of deciding our destiny, with 41% saying the pandemic made them feel more able to take control of their priorities, and the same proportion saying they have less control than they did before. This feeling of control in our future, it really comes down to something called locus of control, the extent to which people feel that they have control over the events that influence their lives. There are two types of locus of control, internal or inside, and external or outside. Individuals who have a strong sense of internal locus of control believe their behaviours are guided by their personal decisions and efforts, and they have control over those things that they can change. That's far more preferable than having a strong external locus of control. In fact, you're likely to be happier and more successful in life if you have an internal locus of control. Looking specifically at finances, the research found that 41% of UK adults say that life during COVID-19 has encouraged them to build more long-term savings. Those in that 35 to 44 year old age group are most likely to feel compelled to save more for the future, with 54% reporting this feeling. The 25 to 34 year old age group were close behind, with 51% feeling more compelled to save for the future. However, 59% of UK adults overall feel less comfortable coping with unforeseen events than they did before the pandemic. Building our financial resources, so cash savings and longer term investments, this is a brilliant way of becoming more financially resilient. So we're ready for when the next pandemic arrives. We don't seem to be talking very much, at least not yet, about the arrival of the next global pandemic. I found an interesting blog post from the Centre for Global Development. It was published back in August and it said, pandemic risk is largely underestimated and actions to prepare for outbreaks are grossly underinvested. It explained why it's wrong for us to think of COVID-19 as a once in a lifetime or even a once in a century occurrence. Instead, they say frequency and severity of spillover infectious disease directly from wild life host to humans is steadily increasing. For that reason alone, I believe now as we come out of the COVID-19 pandemic, it is the right time to be planning for the next one. In planning for that next global pandemic, you don't want to simply survive it, but you want to plan to be comfortable and secure, financially secure and secure in your health as well, with plenty of options available to you and to your family. Some of the things this pandemic prompted us to consider include where and how we work, and where and how we live. We know that property preferences have shifted a great deal as a result of the pandemic experience, with people moving out of towns and cities choosing larger properties in rural locations. We know that working from home and flexible working has become far more widespread and also, also far more socially accepted, as people ditch the daily commute in favour of more time with their families and more time spent in their local communities. I've said this before, but don't allow the positives from a pandemic that includes moments of realisation and any improved habits. Don't allow those to fall by the wayside 
outside as life returns to normal. Don't give up the good bits. Commenting on this research we've looked at today, Alistair McQueen, who's head of savings and retirement at Aviva, said, for many of us, the pandemic has had a profound impact on our outlook and caused us to look again at our priorities. The experience of a global health crisis has led many people to put plans on hold and consider the wider implications around significant issues like retirement plans. The experience of having decisions taken out of our hands through successive lockdowns has left many people longing for a sense of control. But much as it's encouraging to see people striving to build more long-term savings, our findings show anxiety about the future is still weighing heavily on their minds. A question for you then, what will you do to better prepare for the future and to take positive pandemic experiences forward? Do let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, I'm Martin Bamford. And remember, when it comes to your money, the more you know, the faster it can grow.